absolutely loves chocolate. One day at school. So now we're going to get a little more advanced. We're going to start with 3 plus 4. So if, does anybody know what 3 plus 4 is? All right. Uh, Caitlin. What? What is 3 plus 4? 2. No, Caitlin. It will always be 7, never 2. Okay? We got that clear? All right. Fine. Anybody I got any questions? Yes, Henry. Um, this is Camelfiber. I have all these brown spots on my body. Stop joking around, Henry. You don't have time for this. I'm not joking around. Come over to the window, Henry, before I can take a better look. Come on, Henry. Uh, Henry, I'm going to have to take you to the nurse because I don't want to really deal with any of this stuff. All right, let's get back to class. What? Hi, Smiley. Hi. Henry, what's wrong with you today? Henry, I can't see figure out what these spots are. Um, Nurse Molly, they're getting bigger. Henry, I'm gonna have to send you to the local hospital. Henry went to the hospital, rushed to the examining room to see Dr. Fargo. Hello. Do you guys smell chocolate? What seems to be the problem? So I have like, all these brown spots on my body everywhere. They're really big on my face. Mm -hmm. And my school nurse, they started popping and getting bigger. Mm -hmm. And we don't know what to do about it. Okay. It was really kind of creeping me out because I can mm -hmm. feel them and they're itchy. Yeah. But I don't itch them. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like they're going to. Oh, hold on. Henry was scared and angry about his chocolate fever, so he ran away. Henry ran for miles and miles and miles. until Henry found an open garage, went inside, and fell asleep. The next day, Henry left the garage and wandered walking around. The man that gave Henry a lift's name was Mac. He was really kind and made Henry feel super comfortable. Hey dude, you want some food? It's alright, I'll get off you. Huh? You must have seen these, all these brown spots on me by now. Yeah, I see them. But would you like a cheese or ham sandwich? <laughs> well, I have this disease called chocolate fever and nobody knows what to do about it. And it looks really terrible and I look really terrible and ugly. I wouldn't say ugly, I would say just sort of special. That's why I'm running away. Your parents, they must be so worried about you. You should go drive down the hill to call your parents. Okay, but I'm not going back to the hospital. Let's go tell your parents that. Let's go find the phone. I was like, um, kids, no one needs a kid. Yeah, like me. And without them knowing, two robbers named Louie and Lefty came to their window. Louie and Lefty got in the front of the car and drove Mac and Henry to their secret cabin.
Tommy and Lefty shoved them into the corner. And in the corner, they made a plan for escape. <laughs> yeah. See? Do you hear that? Sounds like dogs barking. It's getting louder and louder as we speak. these girls because they stole candy. Come on Henry, let's go deliver the candy to the local candy store. Okay. They went to the candy store where Sugar King worked. Hi Mr. Sugar King. Here's your sack of candy. Thank you. Do you know how to cure this chocolate fever? I once knew someone that had chocolate fever. Really? Who had it? Well, as a matter of fact, it was me, and I cured it with a vanilla pill. And I just happened to have one here. Would you like one? Yes, please. All right, here, this is very good medicine and should do the trick. He took the pill, you. then went home and went to bed. Henry, wake up. Mm, ten, I go to school. Vanilla pill really worked. Here, Henry, I made your favorite chocolate chip pancakes. No, thank you, Mom. I'm not in the mood for chocolate chip pancakes today. What? I've never heard of such a thing. What's this? Cinnamon. That sounds good. It smells good, too. Mom, is there anything called cinnamon fever? Ha ha ha! Silly boy! <laughs>